I'm standing in a courtyard in front of an old stone house in a silent village in the south of Croatia. I'm surrounded with my father, my mother, my sister, and some other people I just vaguely remember somewhere in the back of my mind. I feel confused as I see my father's eyes start filling with water and my mother's face getting wet from the tears pouring out of her eyes. On the other side of the courtyard, I see this huge man with a dark complexion hugging my sister with his shaking hands. And I wonder if something terribly wrong happened to make everybody act so strangely. But then it comes. I feel strong hands grabbing me from behind, turning me around and suddenly I am caught in a tight, almost wild hug. While I'm trying to catch my breath, I can suddenly feel the familiar smell of cigarettes. At the same time, a soft breeze brings the smell of the smoked ham and sheep cheese to my nose. And the emotion starts pouring in. The memory of me as a child sitting in the lap of my uncle, who is now almost fanatically hugging me almost screaming the words in a strong Dalmatian accent. Dissimi, lipa moja. Now I finally recognize his face. A bit older, with deeper wrinkles and sadder eyes, gained during the long war in Croatia, where he fought in the first line, witnessing many of his friends lose their lives. Yes, he has changed. But it is still him, Niksha, my uncle. My father's cousin, who spent hours carrying me on his shoulders during our visits before the war. The hugs continue, the emotions are strong, and when finally the greeting, kissing, hugging and crying comes down, we finally all sit down, as we used to do on the stone escarpment in front of the house. We are leaning on the walls of house, all seemingly exhausted from the mix of emotions we went through. I look at my father and a strange feeling of peace and fulfillment has taken over his face. Relieved to see his family after being apart for years, not knowing if they will survive the war not knowing if they will be able to sit together in this old family house as we did every year until the war came six years ago. I feel the peace too. Many years have passed since our family being reunited after the war. The memory of absolute happiness from that moment is still strongly inscribed under my skin and in my soul. Our family survived the storm and we appreciate every morning, moment we have spent together ever since, hoping this calm will never be interrupted again.